um, is the fact that you you get records and you actually change them about, don't you, when you're playing them? Don't tell me quite how it's done yet. Yeah. But don't you think that might annoy, like the scratching thing, might annoy the people who've spent all the time making the records? Well, that's it. That's the danger. But the thing is, is when a record's been played in the club for a long time, um, people get a bit better of hearing it, and it's nice to hear it in a different way. And that's why I kind of mix around with them, play about with them a bit. Right. Well, now I think we'd like you to actually uh, explain what a mixing DJ, which is what you are, a mixing DJ does. Well, I mean, it's a case of two turntables. You. What? Yeah. The, the one, one, two. Yeah, yeah. Just demonstrating for the for the people that don't know what a turntable is. Yeah. On your first turntable, you've got a record running. On the second turntable number two there you get another record you make sure that the beats run synchronized with each other and you bang them in and this thing tape that's, recorder. well that's the rebox reel to reel there and that's um, just for echoing effects so you're giving it a delay like a beep 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 beep, beep. yeah it's, it, it works in uh, nice on some bass parts yeah. okay then well i think you ought to um get in and give us a demonstration of what you could do i believe it's if you like to step over here and you can maybe give us a bit of commentary every now and again What's he doing now? Uh, that's a bit of scratching on the start. The record he's playing, by the way, is David Joseph, which is a brand new single. It is one of the hottest records in the club at the present moment. The cameraman's just jogged the record there. <laughs> that's going to give Greg a few problems, as you think. So, at the moment, what record are we hearing? Well, it's the both record on same turntable, on both turntables, OK? On the left-hand turntable, which is one, he's got the original version. And on the other turntable, he's following it one beat behind, which is given an echo effect. Right. And you'll hear that in just about a second. Can we have a the echo? There you oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. That was good, that bit. I like that. And of course, when you're dancing. What was that? There we the tape. He pulled the tape. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. That's right, it's recording what's going on, then it's playing it back. Yeah. Of course, I believe that a lot of people go in recording studios and take lots of drugs and then just make lots of echoes, I believe. Drugs? What are those? Yeah, no, that's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Now we've got both records playing together, and that's going to give us a phase effect, making the record sound as if it's filling the whole room. It's used on Nathan Jones. Ah, absolutely. Shifting in and out. Again, the echo effect one record following the other, and, and a little bit of echo, yeah. Because, yeah. of course, if you didn't, if you weren't, if you didn't know the record, you might just think it was the mix of the record. That's but right, but the people impressed. who do know the record will be impressed by this. I mean, Greg is one of the top guys in the field. 